Hey you guys, today we are going to change an oil filter and like my dad is going to show you how to because I'm too young to do this, so yeah. That's so, a young boy. Yeah, today yeah. You're going to learn. Today you become a man. That's it. That's it. Oh yeah, look. Before anything, uh, you need to change your oil every three months or 3,000 miles depending on the vehicle and the type of weight, type of oil you use. Mm -hmm. This is a sign of bad oil. Blackness. Zoom up on that boy. Yeah. All vehicles burn oil, some faster than others. So a good sign that you need an oil change is that the, the level is going to be a little low. Okay. Let's check this out one more time just to show you where the oil level is. Normally, it has to be in between the cross hatches right here. It's mm -hmm. got to be in between here. Right here, it's in the safe zone. Yeah. So, usually it's up here. Yeah. But since it's been time and we haven't changed it, it burned up and it's down here now. Okay. So, that's a good sign that you need to change your oil. Okay. <clears throat> so, the next thing to do, since we got a vehicle that's a little bit higher off the, off the ground, we don't need to raise it up. Okay. What you do need next is a drain pan to catch the oil uh -huh. that you're going to release from the bottom of the drain pan. Okay. Let's show you where that's at. Stay right there. You're good. Oh, okay. Maybe in like three more months, we might do the, this car, might, we, we may, might not, like, we might, okay? So, this is? Drain pound. Drain pound. Well, not a drain pound, so. What would you call it? Um, the seven core oil drain pan. You just focus. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you how long we have been with this car because that's just telling something private. So yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. We will never put our our thing, but yeah. Okay. Next, what you need for this vehicle is a wrench. A ratchet. Ratchet. I was close. With a 13 millimeter bolt. 13 millimeter bolt. Okay. Do you feel from under there? No boy. Do we? I could. I could film it there. Yeah. Okay. So here you go. Show me. Alright. What I'm trying to do is find the drain pan. Or the oil pan. Looks like we've got a little bit of leakage. That'll be a future video of showing you how to do the oil oil pan gasket. Um, but for now, we're just going to change the oil. And yeah, just loosen it up. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. <laughs> nice one. Okay. So I'm going to get on the car to show you guys. What he's doing. If we can't see him. I don't think you can see him guys, but he's let me just get under the car. I'm gonna pause it and I'll be right back. Ready? Okay, we're back and let's see what's my dad is the bolt. You remove the bolt. And let the oil drip out. Yep. It's loads of oil. This is approximately six quarts, but since it's burned up a little bit, there'll be a little less. This is a seven quart pan, so okay. make sure it doesn't uh, overfill if you get a little pan with less quarts. Okay. Oh, I need to replace this gasket. Man, it looks like tar, huh? Yeah. So he's 
awesome just watching it. But. Yeah, it looks all majestic. <laughs> it's all like, it's all smooth. It looks all smooth. It's like syrup. Yeah. I don't think I can zoom out, but yeah. Try to put it back here. Dang it, I think we do to replace that oil pan gasket. Yeah, we will. Yeah, I think I'll probably do the... But I got a big dent on the pan. Oh yeah. Bashing it up. Oh yeah, red sands. 